Well, you may not think a teenager and an 80-year-old have much in common, but Faustin High School students prove a person's life story is worth telling at any age. Haiti Clotter shows us how some residents take a look back on their life with the turn of a page. Vivian Nord is 101 years old, and you wouldn't know that just by looking at her. She's as sharp as a tack, full of life, and enjoys getting pampered at the salon. Nord is sitting on the bench donated by her family in her honor. Looking forward to that book they've got put up for us. I think that would be fun. But also, it's just, we learned so much through this, and the, the girls from the uh, high school have been great. Age is nothing but a number and friendships are formed no matter the age gap. Faustin High School sophomores develop life story books that will last a lifetime for residents at the Essentia Health Living Center. It would involve the students making regular visits out to Essentia and visiting with the, the residents and interviewing them. And then it would be the students um, building these narratives and then eventually a life story book. Memory Boy, written by Will Reaver, inspired the project. The book focuses on the relationship between a high school boy and an elderly gentleman. Weaver spent time with the students earlier in the day. Students met with their new friends twice a week for 30 minutes and worked together in pairs or more to create each individual book. 55 students produced 24 books. The creativity was left up to the teams and they worked on the books from October until Thanksgiving. No book was identical full of pictures, high school diplomas, and anything else of significance. So this is an example of one of our life story books designed by two sophomore girls. There were some challenges in the beginning, but the adult volunteers were always present to make everything run smoothly. Many of the residents are in their 80s or 90s and are hard of hearing. You help them to speak slower, um, uh, speak louder. Um, some of the, a few of the residents were um, vision impaired, and so the, the adult re, uh, volunteers helped out with that as well. Family and friends packed the Essentia activity room for the big reveal. Each resident enjoyed the moment and going down memory lane. Students also enjoyed hearing about things they learned in history. We take a lot of things for granted, like they didn't have as much money and it was just harder to get a lot more things than it is now. He told us about his time in the war and he had a lot of stories about overseas and like Korea and all that stuff and it was, that was what I thought the best. Even when one of the residents passed away during the course of the project, students completed the book and attended the funeral. This was more than just an assignment. These newfound friendships will stand the test of time. In Faustin, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. Faustin High School received grants to cover the cost for the project, including the books, transportation, and video cameras. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.